I want to do another talk called The Great Seduction. What is The Great Seduction? When I say The Great Seduction. The Great Seduction basically is corporations seducing us into destroying our own planet. You say, well, how are they seducing us to destroy our planet? It's not a conscious thing. It's kind of like, maybe it is an alcoholic and an enabler. Right? An enabler isn't a conscious person helping the alcoholic destroy his, you know, or the dr drug addict. An enabler is someone who does it out of really an unconscious reaction or understanding that he's in fact doing it. What changes an enabler is education, and that's my hope with this video, is education. And I'm going to say something pretty profound here. Every crisis facing our planet can be traced to our business model. I want you to think about that. I want to say that. Say that with me. Every crisis facing our planet can be traced to our business model, barring natural disasters and, you could say, pandemics. They're two natural things. Even though I think you could say pandemics, holy cow, this truck is in trouble. Just like one side, sorry. Even though you could argue that pandemics may be linked to our business model in the sense that our business model basically cultivates disparity. Disparity. It, it, it cultivates an economic divide. It empowers basically child laborers and sweat factories and sweatshops and everything else. It empowers any way we can make a widget as cheap as we can to excel it at as expensive as we can. And it, it empowers us to keep those individuals who make them cheap in that position. So, the great seduction is corporations through their clever advertising, their clever marketing and everything else, seducing us to buy their widget. Now, everything I own, except for some technology, and I'm an enabler, you know, I want that drone. I want that nice, sweet iPad and stuff. But if I can get an item ultimately used, like every bit of clothing I'm wearing, I do not buy new clothes. I go and buy used clothes. I recycle clothes. If I can get something, if I can grow something, I will grow it. If I can throw it into the garden, and it will decompose, I will throw it in the garden to improve the quality of the soil in my garden. Why? Because I'm aware of this great seduction and I choose not to be fully a part of it and I choose to make videos like this to hopefully empower others to become aware of this seduction. You know, this Black Sunday or whatever it is, Black shopping day. I don't even see, I don't even know the name of it because I don't participate in it. Ultimately, you know, is a way for you to buy. And, you know, they teach us, oh, you'll feel good when you buy stuff. Go buy those new clothes. Go buy those, that new item, you know, that Gucci handbag or whatever. We need to stop. We need to vote with our dollar. We need to vote with our mouth. If we just started voting, and I have a, another video, if 20 million Americans would stop voting with their dollar and their mouth, we would change everything in America. That's all we need to do. And number one thing is we need to stop, when we can, stop buying. And buy used. In Japan we say multi nai, don't be wasteful. Go green. Start planting your own food. Growing your own plants. Making your own things if you can. And 
ultimately, if we're gonna change anything, we gotta change it through our business model, which is broken. Our business model is linked to every crisis facing our planet, barring pandemics and natural disasters. Just said earlier. So the great seduction, ultimately, is thinking of us as, is, um, is tricking us into eating our own tail. You've seen the, what's that called? There's a word for it, the snake eating itself. I forgot what the name of it. I had it a moment ago. Um, it's not the Kodak, Kodak, so that's something else or something. The uh, Arabola, the Arabola, the Arabola. The Arabola is the snake eating itself, and it's been a symbol throughout human history. It's an image which is very, very old. And to me, it's a metaphor of the planet destroying itself through its business model. And the end of the Mayan era, to me, is an era of enlightenment, a near of recognition of, a, of the problem. Since the signing of Magna Carta, which was the start of capitalism, the, cap the, the merchants have replaced the monarchs. And we, you and I, have replaced the serf.